What's up guys, Highlife128 here, bringing you a unboxing and shoe review, something that just came in the mail last night, but um, I didn't really feel like doing it last night, so I left it in the box so I could unbox it with you guys. Um, got it right here next to me. Uh, it's something that I ordered from Finish Line that I ordered last um, Saturday. Last Saturday, I believe, not last Friday. Yeah, it was Saturday. Um, it's a six shoe. They were tough to get on Foot Locker, swing over to finish line, they're real easy to get. And then, um, much like the the uh, Weatherman Foams, I ended up going to Boston that day, and of course they're at every place, and I could have just got them there, but um, using my finish line, uh, finish line card always pays off for the reason that I mentioned in Why Shop at Finish Line. Go check out my videos here down below, and uh, you'll see why I shop at finish line. So. Here is the box. Coming from finish line. It's an enormous box, just like way too big. I hate when boxes when people send boxes this big. Nike is the only company that has it right. Um, they send a box at the size of a shoe box, maybe a quarter inch on each side, just slides right in. Foot Locker sends stuff in bags, um, Reebok and um, Adidas and Finish Line, they all send stuff in enormous sized boxes, so let's get into this here. It's just, it's just an enormous box with a smaller box in it, it's just stupid. Like, look at, look at this. There you go. It's a Reebok box, but there's no packing. There's no, there's no packaging. There's nothing. That's just ridiculous. Just the box and the packing stuff that's been thoroughly mangled by the fact that it's been crushed by this box a million times. All right. So, this giant packing slip. It is cool that they'll send a return label um, whenever they ship you anything. That way you don't even have to bother hassling them for a return label or anything, but still a little, still a little fucked up that it's mangled. So, price on this one. was one fifty nine. Gotta show the boxers. Box is a little fucked up, just as you would imagine. It's been bouncing around. So Reebok box, standard Reebok joint. Same that came with the Shack attacks and the kamikazes or the Shack Gnosis and the kamikazes. I just gave away what it was. It's a shack attack. As you can see, the 160 price tag. Reebok Classic. Shack attack, size 9.5. Color black and azure. So, pretty, pretty nice looking shoe. I got a little, little something there, something on it, a little stain kind of thing. I don't know if you can see it. So, <clears throat> this is my first time really looking at the shoe. I, I looked at it. In one of the stores, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to kind of give it away to myself, so I just kind of glanced at it. It's um, it's a nice looking shoe. It's really nice. Huh. So, let's get into the 
review here. So I have something on the insole I'll show you. So outsole is pretty cool. It's got the uh, it's got a real cool design to it. All this traction here in the middle and kind of that V shape. Um, you get little traction pods all over and on the front. Uh, so I got some more traction back here. Um, and it's an interesting shape. And then instead of your standard hexalite that you see on a lot of retro and uh, old school Reeboks, it looks like it, it looks like carbon fiber. When you get up close, it kind of just it kind of doesn't it kind of feels a little like carbon fiber, but if it is, it's really really cheap carbon fiber. It's not it's not even as nice as the stuff they put on the Jordan 11s or the um, um, foam posits. But um, it looks good. I mean, it it does its part. I don't know what the cushioning is on this. Probably just rubber. But um, yeah, it looks decent. Then the midsole. You have a couple of hits of that um, azure color with just more uh, more black rubber, kind of circling throughout. A couple more hits of that azure blue. And then you have a little piece of that carbon fiber. I don't, I don't even know if that's. I don't know if this is all one piece of carbon fiber, or one shank, or if they just kind of stuck that there to look good. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you guys know anything about the the carbon fiber or whatever it is on the, on the shank attacks, because I do not. Um, so the upper is primarily a smooth um, smooth split green leather it's pretty nice quality I mean you can you can tell it's kinda thin but it's not it's not a bad feeling not a bad feeling leather at all um, you can see it everything that's not this this Reebok logo is all smooth leather on the toe box I have a feeling it's gonna crease really easily because it's leather um, and then around the other side, you get a lot more patches of leather here, up top, and then around the back. And then you have your white and azure shack logo. Now, from what I understand, this is the same shack logo that they used when Shaq was playing with Reebok, but it also is the logo that Shaq uses for his Payless line. So. And I think they're kind of trying to set themselves apart from that, so I don't know why they're using that logo. It must be some kind of an agreement with Shaq to almost help promote his other line, but I think it looks kind of like shit. I don't know. It just That's just me. I think they could come up with something a little better. Um, it's not that bad on this. It's only have that one logo, but uh, especially on the Shaq Gnosis, which I'll show you in a second in a comparison, it's, there's a lot of Shaq branding on it. So, back to the shoe. The the Reebok logo on and the the kind of Swish logo on the other side. I'm not sure. It's it's definitely a synthetic, probably a new buck of some sort. But it's really really short hair. And if you look closely, I don't know if you'll be able to see. It almost has a pattern to it. So it's 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 decent. Looks pretty nice. You have that white Reebok logo on the side, and then on the other side it's just more of that um, more of that sort of Nubuck material. It's almost like a felt. It's kind of rough. Uh, not the nicest Nubuck. And then um, you have the strip from the logo wrapped around the back. Um, then around the heel or the uh, the ankle area, you have this sort of reflective material. It's not leather, it's sort of a I don't know what it feels like. It's really, really soft, but it's as you can see it's kinda of shiny. That's on both sides. And that was my only complaint on the shoe is there's a little 
it's a little marked up there. Tough to see because the reflection with that shiny material. Um, then the tongue has more of that that really shiny material. The entire tongue is made of it with black laces. You have black eyelets going all the way up. It's kind of cool. Uh, you have that on both sides. Then of course the the tongue is the, is the best part about the shoe. Not necessarily the material because as you can see the material gets kind of cracked up easily and creased. But um, that's just the way it was shipped I'm sure. But the the, uh, the pump unit with the shack branding and I don't know if this is if you want to lace it up over the tongue or what I don't know if that's what that's for but I certainly would never lace it any higher than it is right now but then again I'm probably not going to play ball in these so <clears throat> I don't know so as you guys know you pump the tongue pumps up the shoe I don't know how much I would do it I don't know how well they work I don't know if it's there for show anymore. I really don't know much about it, but I know that a lot of it's there for looks. And it's kind of like a... I assume it's supposed to be a basketball, but I know originally they were a tennis ball. So looks looks pretty cool. would have been cool if they put, um, you know, a different logo on there other than just the pump, but whatever. The inside also is a lot a lot cooler than I thought. I don't know if you can see in there. It says, all men count on you, but none too much. With the Reebok and a Shaq logo all in white on a blue insole. The, the tongue is just enormous on the shoe. See if I can show you guys. Let's see. Let's see how the tongue just goes all the way. Sorry. It's tough for me to see that. The tongue just goes all the way down to this flap right here. It's really, really big. I'm sure, it's, I'm sure it's for support or something like that to keep the tongue in place, but never seen anything like that. Huh. Then of course, um, as you saw in there, you have a little size tag and sticker. Another Shack logo. And then the sock liner, which is pretty nice actually it's pretty soft it's got a cool little pattern to it and uh, on this one it comes with a little that um, sort of leathery nubuck material with a shack logo hang tag with a little gold chain for the hang tag let's see if Yeah, this one doesn't come with anything else. It doesn't um, doesn't have a hang tag or anything like that. So real quick, let me grab a uh, pair of the um, the Shack Gnosis. And I'll go over. Shack Gnosis. Shag Attack. Two of my favorite non Nike, non Jordan shoes of the year. After my after my Alamos, of course, because those Alamos are just ridiculous. But um general releases of the year. Shack Gnosis, of course, features um, a leather nubuck upper, and uh, the cushioning is the hexalite, which you can see poking through, and then on the sides here. Um, 
I notice that the, the shack gnosis is it feels a lot lighter actually and uh, I noticed that when I first felt the shoe it looks real bulky in pictures but um, it is it is a considerably lighter shoe it's I mean it's mainly just hexalite foam and, and then your upper so this again I don't know if this is a polyurethane um, or, or what this is sort of cushioned by but let me know So here's the two of them, side by side. Again, there's a lot more Shaq branding on this one. Um, <clears throat> but it, it's not that bad. Um, overall, honestly, I, I kind of like the Shaq Gnosis more. I don't know, I I swear, I, when I first saw these, especially in the white colorway, I was like, I have to get those, I have to get those Shack Attacks. And then I didn't, I ended up sleeping on them, just, you know, I had some other stuff going on, and uh, by the time I wanted them, they were like $300 a pair, so I said, you know, I'll wait till the next colorway comes out, I'm definitely going to get a pair. And I did, and um, I'm not going to say I'm disappointed, but... I just, I, I just like these better. I really, I just, I love this shoe. I love the classic colorway, and uh, how light it is, how, how, how good it looks. This one also looks good. Just, I don't know. I feel like it's maybe a little too busy. I don't know. I know people are gonna say well, this is too busy and this one's not too busy, but it, I don't know. Just something about it. It just, it's not. Um, I'm not as excited as I thought I was going to be. That's what I want to say. I love it. I like it. Whatever. It, I, it wasn't everything that I thought it was going to be. And um, I'm glad I have it. I'm not going to get rid of it. But um, will I get another pair? No. Am I glad I didn't get two pairs? Yes. Uh, as I originally was planning on getting two pairs. Um, I just don't. I don't know how good these would look on feet. I feel like they're kind of, kind of bulky, but um, overall it's still a nice shoe, and don't let this discourage you from getting it. If you like the Shack Attacks or Shacks or Pumps or any Reeboks at all, get the shoe. It's a great shoe, but um, it just it's it's not as good as this one, in my opinion. The original colorway. I don't have any other ones yet. I'm waiting for the price to drop on on all those other colorways, but the original one is better than this. So, uh, in closing, hang on a second, we've got some technical difficulties there. Um, in closing, it's a great shoe. It's uh, not the greatest shoe on the planet, kind of like I was expecting. Um, have to check out how it looks on feet. But, uh, yeah, well, I'm going to let you guys go. Sorry, this video ran kind of long, kind of me, um, rambling about the Shaq line, but I um, actually have two more pairs coming in the mail, well, one more pair, two of the same pair, coming in the mail today, so I will be doing that review later today, so you'll see me put up two uh, reviews today, including this one, so um, the next one, not a basketball shoe, but an amazing shoe nonetheless, I'm sure none of you guys have seen it on YouTube yet, I don't think I've seen it on YouTube, so um, should be one of the first people to put it up. And I had just ordered another one on Nike.com this morning. Again, not another basketball shoe, but another something that I really like. And i um, pretty excited about that. should have that, um, let's see, what test is today? Next week, definitely. So, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, really means a lot to me. And um, I will see you guys a little later today with another review. Thanks.